My 13 year old daughter said that today at school there were boys everywhere wearing red Trump hats and commenting to the girls, your body, my choice. If you have a preteen or teenage boy, you need to talk to them about this right now. Something I've never really spoken about before is my goal here on Drama Queen. And that has always been to provide a form of escapism for people for 15 or so odd minutes a couple of times a week, and it is exactly why Yappersville exists. But one thing we can't really seem to escape at the minute is reality and what lies ahead of us. This topic actually coincides with a series that I had here on my channel with the pick me girls of it all and with the trad wife life content creators. Trying to regress us all the way back to the 50s in the progressive 2024. Progress is actually really cool and pretty sick. I'm not sure why you would want to go back to a time that, you know, doesn't really benefit the entire of the population, but okay. I've also spoken about the issues with identifying yourself with constant male validation. These girls tend to lift themselves up by putting others down, all in the name of achieving the goal of constant endless male validation that they are so desperate to get. A couple of days ago, a far-right live streamer, as well as ex-YouTuber who in fact had his channel banned in 2020 for hate speech, yes folks, Nick yeah. Fuentes made a rather interesting tweet on the 6th of November. No, we are not calling it X as we don't mess with the musk around here. Yes, I'm gonna slight the goths and punks and alternatives who own a Tesla, ew. The only musk I mess with around here is musk sticks. I don't care, they are delicious. Your body, my choice forever. Now we've already been seeing a resurgence of the trad wife life rise on TikTok in particular. Women promoting the idea of submitting 100% to a man in the year 2024. My last video was literally about a trend that men were partaking in on TikTok, basically being happy that he had a mother rather a wife. <laughs> I don't have to do any more housework because I have another mom, I mean wife, I mean wife that I love. The response to this tweet by our fellow women says a lot about where we are all currently standing with one another. And it's even more divided than ever before. My body, his choice. If you need a sticky note to tell you to think every day, I think you need to rethink life in its entirety. And look, that's not me shaming any sticky note havers, okay? I get it. Maybe you're somebody who needs to be reminded to brush thy teeth, otherwise you go outside and your breath is rotten. Isabella, remember to get to scrubbing them gums. Like, I get it, but I don't know about a sticky note reminding you to think. As it's like, babe, if you can't already think for yourself, you're just gonna fall for anything. You being a small, blonde, skinny girl is only a novelty that's going to wear off in the future. So yes, you do need to use your brain. Glad that she's reminding herself. But she couldn't even keep the post up. As I personally think, she didn't fully think this one through now, did she? You have a sticky note on your mirror reminding you to think and you couldn't even think about this? But I mean, she needs to be reminded to think, guys. Uh, however, this this is a prime example of why I can't fully get behind the girls support girls movement. It's not to say that I'm not supporting a woman simply because she doesn't think like me and she doesn't agree with my point of view. Rather, they are putting their fellow women at risk of reciprocating this ideology. Like you're spreading this toxic and hateful rhetoric and want me to support you? You don't even support yourself, my love. 
let alone the people, the women around you. Because genuinely, some of these women truly want destruction in order to attain that male validation. And look, by all means, live the life the way you want to live it. But keep in mind, you won't really have many people to live it out with. This is very dangerous to be promoting amongst insecure girls who can't break out of the shackles from male validation. Normalizing the phrase, my body, his choice, has set us back so many years. It's sad to see how many girls like this one don't realize they're able to spout this kind of nonsense because of what their mothers, aunties, women before them fought for. The utter privilege of repeating the phrase, my body, his choice, astounds me as it's like some women are genuinely in the position of having her body be his choice. It's not a funny little edgy red pill, base pill, sigma thing for that woman as it's not funny for her. It's not just a Twitter post for her. Her body is being used and abused, objectified and manipulated because she doesn't live in a first world country where she has many privileges just like the women who are spouting this absolute nonsensical garbage. Or what about if she's in an abusive relationship? Her body is not her choice. But I mean, wow, look at you, Miss Blondie. When it actually comes down to having to live the realities of my body, his choice, you'd wish you never said some stupid shit like that. But it doesn't stop here. My body, his choice. What deeply fascinates me about the women who are repeating this absolutely absurd statement ever so publicly is that it's not even in a way to try and reclaim it. And it's not like this phrase even needs to be reclaimed in any sense, right? Because it was originally my body, my choice. But creeps and incels and Pists genuinely can't handle that. They can't handle being told no. They can't handle the fact that a woman has a choice over her body and she's not just some toy to play with. The phrase itself is about oppressing women. It's about hatred. It's about division. And look, it would be one thing if these women were trying to make a joke out of something so nonsensical as it's like, how can anyone genuinely believe that kind of right? The phrase my body, his choice in of itself sounds rapey as fuck. And the sad part is, is that some of these women truly do believe that statement, that her body is his choice. And like I just said five seconds ago, the phrase also holds a sense of irony in that it sounds rapey. It sounds exactly how it's being said. My body, his choice. But from the looks of it, you gave consent to have mattress action with him. Am I correct? Then that in of itself was a choice. You were able to say yes or no. Crazy how you want to be so base pilled, but you don't actually want to stand on business or even live up to your words because they're so outrageous, right? Not to even mention the fact that this woman is using her pregnancy in a way to justify her terrible rhetoric. Yay! Congratulations on using your unborn child as a pawn in spouting hateful anti-woman rhetoric. You go, girly. Many are cases of the pick presenting itself when they've already been picked. Like, wouldn't you think being a pick would go away for some of these women because because they achieved that male validation or is it not enough? Is it all a farce? Is this an insecurity that's presenting itself as a projection onto other women because you feel as though he's going to leave you in the future for a more submissive woman? For the more self-hating, internalized, misogynistic woman? Or is it that you're so far gone in the hate of it all that you genuinely do not understand the consequences to upholding statements as such? You're not being edgy or based. You're holding a gun to your head. You're painting a very grim picture that only abhorrently controlling abusive men could only dream of. Yes, this dumb bitch gets it. Now get 
back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. You can even rub my feet while you're at it. Like, I'm sorry that you're annoyed at the fact that some women do not care about male validation whatsoever. It holds no currency in their life. And I know that upsets some people a lot. My body his choice. You know, maybe it really is just engagement farming. Because in my mind, posting a photo of yourself to a phrase that was created by one of the most hateful people on the internet is something I wouldn't want my name attached to whatsoever publicly at that. Like, it just blows my mind how much these people parade being a hateful individual. Like, congratulations, you got the most toxic male attention ever. Now what? Imagine how many women in the personal lives of these women spouting this nonsense. They've alienated, they've made super uncomfortable coming to them as a woman. Because it's like you ask one of these people for a tampon or a pad and they just laugh and your face because there's a man right there. Oh, you bleed <laughs> out of you, I see. <laughs> James, she's literally asking me for a pad. <laughs> Who is she to ask such an edgy base pilled Sigma Chad for a tampon? I mean, me? Really? <laughs> it's a sad time on social media at the minute, but these women have it in them to rise above hate. When you present yourself as so anti-people, hateful, mean, and evil, it eventually takes its toll on your mind, body, and soul. It doesn't come natural to human beings to be so against minorities, to hate people for their sexual sexualities or their gender identities or being so forced stripping away the rights from women. And these are what these women are repeating. Being this hateful consumes these people's entire days, 24 seven. It's all they talk about. It's all that matters to them. And then they wonder why they're so alone in life. They wonder why nobody likes them and nobody wants to hear them speak. It's because everything that comes out of their mouths is just spewing hatred. And I'm sorry, but no one wants to listen to that. If there's anything that you take away from my videos, let it be this. Love your neighbor. And no, I'm not religious, but it is something I live by. Love those of different walks of life. Love people who can't love themselves. There literally is no benefit in spreading hate fear and anger 24 seven. These women are so much better than this. They themselves deep down know that. I knew I was right about you. Show these young women a type of fulfillment they never thought possible. What exactly is fulfilling about being reduced to nothing but merely an object? Because that's exactly what it comes down to. You know what repeating this phrase says? It says my body is no longer my choice. My thoughts my feelings don't matter. I am not an equal. I, I am not even a person. I will only matter if a man decides he wants to control my body. I can only speak and think when a man says so. So yes, that is exactly why I decided to make this video today. It shouldn't even really be all that controversial, to be quite honest, because the fact that some women are so down with this idea truly disgusts me to my core. Like, would any of these women be okay if their little daughters were to run around school repeating this? Probably not. You would probably be really scared because it sounds more like a kink than anything at that. Your man does not respect you take you seriously as an equal, nor genuinely cares for you if he too is saying your body my choice. This video is quite obviously more geared towards the women who are repeating this phrase currently, but this is just another form of pick -meism. It's another way for people to push this trad wife lifestyle. Because to be quite honest, I really didn't expect such a large number of women to be thinking this way. And once again, it's not a match of, oh my God, this woman doesn't think like me, so she's not valid. No, she is genuinely pushing for our rights to be revoked. Are you serious? Because those are the arguments I also keep seeing. Oh, so she's not a good woman because she doesn't have a progressive idea? <laughs> 
It's not that she's not a good woman, quote unquote. It's that she's kind of a brain dead one. And to end this video off, no, I was never going to take an angle of women being brainwashed. And that's why they're tweeting this. That's why they think this way. No, these are grown capable women who are able-minded enough to understand how dangerous repeating this hateful rhetoric is. They know it themselves, but they don't care. So, I mean, why should we? I'm tired, and I'm sure so many of you watching at home are too. So with all that being said, everybody, women's rights, gay rights, trans rights, equal rights, human rights, people, 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 we love people. Thank you for your stay at Yappersville today, everybody. I hope you are feeling okay currently. And if you ordered a shirt from this merch drop, we are shipping them this week. So look out for an email. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.